Good day and welcome to another edition of um, Outside of Genie, where we will be racing today from the Urban World, the 20th of October. We have eight races on the card. Let's start off with race number one. Let's have a look at the betting, where Royal Flush is your um, favorite. At 14 to 10, Alpha Papal 28 to 10, Double Charge 6 to 1, Freedom Park 7 to 1, Ford Red 10 to 1, The Bull 20 to 1, Empire Glory and the rest 33 to 1 and longer. So let's have a look at um, at the um, field here where we have number one, uh, of number four, our favorite. Um, that's number four, Royal Flush. And Royal Flush has drawn one. Uh, did improve last time out over the 1250 and looking to go one better today. Did ran a nicely in both his two last two runs, ran a nice 400 to finish 22 to 6. And based on that, I think this also will be running on at the end, hard to beat. Outside of selections in this race, number one, double charge. Uh, it's uh, Aldo de Mayan on board, riding for Andre now. Um, I see he writes quite a number for him today and might have a good day. This horse um, did run over longer distances, but now second run after the race coming back to the 1200 meters and uh, might just be um, and still a little bit fresh and, and happen to run to be involved in the placings. Other outsider selections is number five. Number five is Freedom Park, Captain L. This horse, I think, um, is, uh, is Davy behind Eric de Reed. And ran a nice race there at Tarantino, no donkey. And then last time out over Waterman, probably just, you know, uh, faded a little bit. But today, uh, 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 at the, uh, I think, can be involved in the finish. Yeah, there is a couple of horses. Ford Red can be, uh, you know, can also run in place. Can actually win this race as well. But I think the favorite might be too strong for it today. Here we have the bull. Um, it's a coup de gras gelding. Debut, uh, their debut today. Um, I'm not sure about the breeding. So what's the betting? Um, Craig Zaki on board. Duke's Demon, uh, Duke of Marmalade. Yanni Backer on board, drawn five on the second string. Not sure about the horse's ability. Again, watch the... Um, watch the uh, the betting so then let's move on to race number two race number two is another maiden plate for phillies and mares over 1300 meters uh, 1350 1250 um sorry i just want to quickly refresh this page here um to see if there was any betting changes since i looked at it the last time all right let's just wait a few more seconds Loading, all right, let's go to race number two. Here we have race number two, um, and race number two is End of Rock, uh, 18 to 10, Galactic Star, 33 to 10, 9 to 2, Sea Lion, Winds of Wife of Winds of 5 to 1, 14 to 1, Dark Travel, 20 to 1, and better the rest. So let's have a look at, at the, the field here. I mean, my first selection is number one, Galactic Star. I like this global views. That is by, by Sophia Me. This horse ran well, ran, uh, ran uh, four and a half behind Captain Ransom. Captain Ransom did one uh, a future race the other day. Uh, out of that, eight runs, one win. But then we uh, look at, look at, have a look at again, this strong race where the filly was only 0.2 behind Veronica March. Now, out of that, 14 runs already, two, uh, uh, two winners. Last time out against Oscar winner was Andy. Lack extra, but um, I'm sure Aldo, Aldo de Bayer, the mayor on board today will go, clo will go close. And then my outsider selections in this race is number six, uh, Dark Travel. Dark Travel has got no form, but Trippy um, uh, uh, by uh, Cesar Me, Balanera, I know that she was quite a, a nice mayor herself. And um, I don't know how this, you know, this horse didn't debut too well, but I'm looking for it to improve today. The Richard Furry on board from draw four. Last time out um, on the Devon will drawn 14 out of 14, and that is a, key, a killer. Today, drawn four, definitely include into your, into your play. Then, um, yes, the favorite end of rock. Uh, did debut well, run on 22.5, which is a nice time, but unfortunately, draw 10, and that could be a disadvantage in, uh, on, on this course. My other outside of the selection is number 10, Sea Lion, um, Sea Cat. Uh, it, and this horse improved from his first run in Gauteng, where he ran behind Verevici. And we all know this horse, the Sea Lion debuted in the Alan Robertson. Uh, you know, so that they must have think a lot of this horse. Last time out, ran two lengths behind 
cappuccino, and that cappuccino did win well again on Saturday. So I'm sure Sea Lion, also a worthy contender in this race. I can't put my mind to it, but I know Sea Cat has thrown another horse as well that was um, uh, uh, did well. And if I'm not mistaken, that was also trained by Paul Reeves. But I'm talking, I, and I even think that was sold for quite a bit of money. But I'm talking under, uh, um, you know, I'm not sure, but uh, some the sea cat somehow uh, rings a bell for me. So um, all in all, um, there's other horses that has got chances. Wife of Windsor, a dynasty by Royal Jubilee. Um, Royal Jubilee has been a mayor that has flung quite a number of uh, good horses, but all running, running, all running over distances. And definitely, um, I think this horse would be looking for longer distances. So let me move down to race number three, where we have uh, uh, 1,800 meters maiden plate for fillies and mares. Okay, let's have a look at the betting race number three. And here we have the favorite number pink, uh, number eight pink tambour line, 11 to two, shots on nine to two, five to one, Swazi Queen, seven to one, simply complicated, mirror me, eight to one, Reeve not 16 to one, 20 to one, and better the rest. Now, um, I think, um, you know, they've got this favorite short at 11 to 10, 9 to 2 the field. And I think this race is much open than the betting suggested. And my selection is actually number three, Sasha, a dynasty by uh, Winston Winter. This winter suite has thrown some good uh, um, um, uh, uh, offspring. And um, this was did run well behind uh, number two, uh, the second, second last race, Epicloria, uh, late run, okay, next stride. And then moved last time out was also they moved up. And then I think the 1800 meter will actually suit this horse even better. So my selection in this race is number three, Sasha. Um, outsider selections is number four, um, Swazi Queen. Did improve last time over the 1800 meters with the apprentice getting minus four. But now today with Aldo the mayor on board, definitely I think will run a very huge race. And then my other outsider selection is number seven, which is Mirror and Me. Mirror and me, I think also uh, the spectrum me when improve over the longer distances. Drawn one, Grant Fnickak on board, uh, and he is a, a very astute rider, definitely to include. Here's number eight, big pink tambour line. It's a Futura by Trippy Me. Definitely in with a chance, and did run well last time out, 23 to seconds. And before that, 22.2400 to finish. So we'll be definitely finishing drawn five, not without a chance, but I'm not think I'll be running, taking the 11 to 10. That is for sure. Yes, something complicated also twice over by Jotpot Mir for re and Snipe combination. That improves last time behind Ruby Rhythm and was staying on. And I think number nine also in with a huge chance. Then we move to race number four, which is a merit rate at 72 handicap class C average merit rating 77. Let's have a look at the betting. Here the betting is as follows. Number six, red lock, five to two. South is four to one. Digital lights, five to one. Maximum six to one. Melora, eight to one. Ver Veritrum, 14 to one. And better the rest. So let's have a look at race number four, where my first selection is the favorite number six. Red lock, red lock um, that has now won twice, and I think the distance should not be a problem. Uh, and last time out, I won, I watched the race, and this was won cozily. Uh, yeah, he, had an, uh, he didn't have a problem. The jockey was sitting with a double handful coming into the last 400 meters, and he just moved up to win the race. Um, I think the margin uh, flatters the horse that ran second. I think this race was won 200 meters out already because the docky was sitting with a double handful, not moving. And today drawn free, another good draw. And I think Red Lock um, looks like one of those horses that can progress through the ranks. So definitely my selection in this race. Then um, my other, the outsider selections that we're gonna go for is number three, which is uh, Dubai Lights. Uh, give me the green light out of uh, Dubai destination me. And as did win his maiden over the 1400 meters. And I think today over the 1800 meters will definitely appreciate the longer distances. It says here last two lines lack extra, lack extra. And I think the 1600 and the 1500 still a little bit fast. And I think the 1800 meters will definitely suit this horse. And here we have number four, Maximus. Maximum is um, as relocated with 
Jeff uh, Woodruff from Joburg did um, run well in his first race where he met a strong field, three out of nine winners. So that indicates that that was quite a strong field. Then we over 69 meters and white and, and, and won twice easily. Out of that already one winner. And I do feel that um, this horse maximum is also, is also going to be a horse with potential definitely to include in all your play. Now, the other horses with chances in this race, number two, Salt Um, you know, I uh, don't know what ran uh, what happened behind this race behind Sudden Star. This horse just faded, but before that was close fourth behind Destin over two thousand meters. So maybe Celtis give him another chance. Anton Marcus on board today, drawn four. Melora did won his last two races but over longer distances. And I think the minus four did play a role. But now that they're carrying 61 and a half over the shorter distance, I do feel Melora will find it difficult to make it three in a row in this race today. So all in all, a nice race. Um, let's move on to race number number five, which is a racing situation. Merit rated 86, handicap class C, average merit rating 82. Let's have a look at the betting. Here the betting is as follows. Number three, two, Sudden Star, 72. Peaceful Day, 4 to 1. Black Belt, 4 to 1. Holy Warrior, 92. 92. Elsmar Daddy, Daddy Fort, Epigan, 12 to 1. 16 to 1, and longer the rest. So here's race five. My first selection being number seven, Black Belt. This, this six year old Black Man Loose, he never knows when to give up. Um, last time out, he ran two lengths behind Sutton Star, but there's about a three kilogram turnaround in weights now which will bring him much closer to Sudden Star. And I do believe Black Belt today can, can go in again from drawn, Kigo de Mala drawn, um, drawn free. Um, my outsider selections in race number five is number three um, is Peaceful Day. It's also, it's also been running well. And, and I think, um, you know, when it came back after the race behind K Kitak, Ran a dreadful race, and then behind late night, uh, late at night also. But now back over, I think today running for the first time over 1800 meters, and that might be the distance that will favour this horse. So number three, peaceful day. Do include in your play. My other outsider selection this race is number five, Els my daddy, Els my daddy, a four-year-old captain L by Camden Pack me that went two in a row last time out behind Woodsprite. Well, I think was a little bit outpaced, and I do believe the 1800 meters today might even suit. Was also second behind the Macquillan. We did see that form earlier on the car today. The Macquillan knows uh, slouch, so I, I do feel else my daddy can also be involved uh, in the finish today. The other horses of chances, Holy Warrior, did run a better race off behind half and half after it fell behind Melora, but also a horse that's been running the in and the other belts. Um, that went two in a row, um, which of one of them was uh, on this course. Um, so maybe, you know, Aldo de Meyer, uh, he's a strong rider, do include. Um, Sudden Star, yeah, as we had a look at Sudden Star, there's nothing wrong that went three in a row and then got run out of it by half and half. So also in with a chance, I think, a huge chance to follow up. Jada's Rock, two years ago, uh, he, he, run, he won two races in a row and I don't know, hasn't had many runs, only a six-year-old, only the 13 runs, but I do believe a horse of ability, but last time out, I think um, this needed a run behind Woodsprite, so maybe backing up your quartets. So let's move on to race number six, uh, race number number seven, where we have a Phyllis Amir's 95 handicap, class B, average minute rating 89. Yeah, I think um, I just nearly skipped race now. We're going to have a look at race number six. 22, Magnificent 7, Kampala, Kampari 3 to 1, Majestic Mozart 3 to 1, 5 to 1, Silver the Long and Chrome Yellow 6 to 1. Yes, at race number six, I nearly skipped race number six. We had um, uh, Mr. Nell with a strong uh, uh, contingent of horses. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But some of them have subsequently been withdrawn. Uh, Vikram and Red run Red. So I think there's only a few runners left now. Where my selection goes to number 
number seven there's a finger see the smaller the field the bigger the upset not like this horse will be upset but i think with the carrying um with the 50 on the on his half silver the longer can outrun them in this race and, uh, and beat them to the winning post um he's surely not a donkey a silvano by the bill me has won three races haven't won for nearly a thousand days but maybe today he can with the small weight he can um out sprint him you know and be first come when be first when they take the pictures at the winning post but also i've got respect for number three majestic mozart majestic mozart is only a one-time winner out of 21 races I haven't won for 788 days, but still a mass 975 rand. Now you don't get that kind of money by running unplaced. Now, if you never have a look at this horse, she's run against, uh, he's run against Charles, one world, a warm Bulgarian. I mean, the list just goes on and on. Golden Duck, last time out was too short, but it still run well, 22.2 for a, a, a supposed to be a sprinter. And I do feel Majestic Mozart definitely a huge runner in this race. So include in all your bets. And then, yeah, uh, Kampala Campari also have a huge chance. Has also been running against good opposition, um, carrying the 60, but Majestic Mozart only carrying 57, getting three kilograms. That might make a difference. Magnificent Seven, um, yeah, two years ago, around this time, was also winning one race after the other. And then, unfortunately, um, I think that... that uh, got uh, um, injured and um, and but has come back but has run two races since come back of which uh, maybe the last one was the best of the lot but over a much longer distance but can be involved in this field if you have a look at the base weighted column here we're looking at um, number one Kampala Campari Magnificent Seven Majestic Mozart Chrome Yellow and Vikram uh, Silver the Lunga not futuring but I think with the weight, there's a, the, the weight advantage you know, can surprise them all. Now we move to race number seven, which is a Phillies Amir's 95 handicap, computer from class B, average minute rate in 89, 1400 meters. And here we have um, number one, Queen of uh, Quiet, 28 to 10, our prize jewel, 28 to 10, Drama Queen, 6 to 1, and Captain Side, 6 to 1, Crusades Promise, 7 to 1, Woman. Woman Woman, Mandla 10 to 1, 16 to 1, and longer the, the rest. Where my fancy is number one, quiet, Queen of Quiet. This was um, a few months ago, uh, last year, um, before the breakdown, won three nice races. I remember watching these races, and this was always just got up at the end. If you look at those times, 23.8, 23, always finishing fast. And I think again today, we're in with a huge chance. Did run well behind third runway, which was in a much higher class than she's running today. Today running in 89, which she has won before, and today and then after that running 95s, 99s. So definitely down in class, I think Queen of uh, Quiet in with a huge chance today. Here we have our prize jewel, was second favorite. Uh, was also 28 to 10. Uh, ran well behind Captain's Ransom. That was a huge race. Um, in that race was also third runaway. So, but um, yeah, I think uh, Prowse Juliet will be the biggest contender to number one. But then we have other horses which I think will be running for places. On Captain's side, the good horse always there and there about, but has never run over this distance. So ability on this distance unknown. Crusade Promise likes the 1400 meters, had four runs, course and distance, one win, one second and a fourth. Always there and there about one to include into your quartet and so forth. One. Womandla, um, carrying 54 and a half, has also been running some huge races behind Crusade Promise, um, almost captured. It's always there in the area belts, can definitely also be in, in, uh, involved in the finish in terms of the placings. Then we move to race number eight, which is a um, 24 handicap, merit rated 88 handicap, class B, average merit rating 1,000 meters. Let's have a look at the betting here. And here the betting is Shinnecock, three to one, Winter Flight, 33 to 10, uh, there just go seven to two, Al Bracha, five to one, 11 to two, Palgrave, Skidoo, seven to one, Mr. Cops, nine to one, and withdraw number seven, Warrior Tiger. Here my first selection is, if you have a look, you see here, Class B, average minute rating, 84. Here we have number one, Skidoo, who's been running in this class and has not been, has been running well, 
83, 87, and there's an uh, 87, 89. He's been winning early in this race before the break. Came down after the break. Didn't run so well, but I think he's now coming back to form. If we look at his last run behind Benoche, getting the minus one and a half down in close, that was a 98, and that was a 97, you know. So I do believe that Skidoo today is going to be hard to beat in this field. Mr. Cops also a horse, Andrew De uh, a horse. I see Andrew De uh, Aldo De Mayer again, but also never knows when to give up. Also runs dead and dead in belts, and I'm sure will be uh, involved in the finish. Has also been running against some stronger in, 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 uh, in position. There the 99 behind Nvidia, and the 92 behind Mr. Vargas. So I think definitely number two, Mr. Cops, always that you have to include. And my other outside the correction is number outside selection is number nine. Uh, Fire Walker uh, carrying only 50 kilograms did manage to win last time out after um, taking a long time to win his uh, uh, six race. But always that's always there and thereabouts can never be discarded. And the jockey might try and steal the race again with his light weight. Here we have the favorite number eight, Shinnecock, uh, also carrying a light weight, definitely a huge runner in, in this in this race. Um, which can, and I think will be the best, biggest opposition to number one, Sinecock, also in a huge chance. So all in all, a nice car today. I hope I could point you in the correct, right, right direction. And as I always say, break a leg.